Greetings internet, it's Monica and today I am here to do a new video. I'm really excited because this is one that has been requested quite a bit recently and it is my skincare routine. So yeah, this has been requested quite a bit. I've said I was going to make it quite a bit over the last few months and I'm finally doing it. I'm actually literally about to head to wash my face and go to bed so I was like now is the perfect time to make this video. But yeah I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about my current routine, the products that I'm loving, and also just my skincare philosophy in general. So I do want to thank YesStyle for collaborating with me for this video. If you guys aren't familiar, YesStyle is basically my favorite place to buy all of my Korean and Japanese skincare and makeup products. They also have lots of other products from stationery to clothes and everything in between. And I really, I just love the site and just browsing on it and window shopping because it's there's just so much good stuff on YesStyle. I have been shopping on YesStyle for skincare for years now, I feel like, because they've always just been the place that I've gone to for all of my Korean skincare. So I was really excited to make this video with them. All the products that I've mentioned in here are ones that I have used before though, so I just want to put that out there. But without further ado, let's dive in. So a bit about my skincare philosophy is I believe that every skincare routine should really just start with a base layer. Um, and this is basically the layer of skincare that you don't change, that you keep the same for, you know, a, a while. It doesn't have to be forever, um, but that you keep pretty much consistent and the same. You know the products work for you. You know they're not going to irritate. For me personally, I tend to avoid actives in these products because I tend to keep actives to things like serums and stuff. Um, so for my like base layer of skincare, it's stuff that I'm using every single day, often morning and night. So I just want to, I just want to know that it's going to work and it's going to make my skin healthy and happy. So my base routine is made up of three steps, two steps at night. So during the day, it's cleansing, hydrating and moisturizing, and then protecting your skin from the sun by using sunscreen. At night, it's just cleansing and hydrating and moisturizing. I do combine hydration and moisturizing, even though there are two products for me, but there are products that are marketed as both. So I just want to put that out there. Sorry if you can hear a little bit of humming. Our air conditioner just kicked on. But anyways, as I was saying, once I have that base layer of my skincare routine, that's when I can go out and add in a couple different elements like a vitamin C serum or an acid or something along those lines. But I really just want to make sure that that base layer, that thing I'm using every day, that those products are ones that are like tried and true and that I love using. Um, so that's sort of my skincare philosophy in a nutshell. I also want to throw out there that I think one of the reasons why I get asked to do a skincare routine so frequently is because people think my skin is perfect. I just want to put out there that my skin is not perfect. It is far from perfect. It's very easy, I feel like, to look at people on Instagram and YouTube and think that because you're not like up close to my face with a microscope and also because we're just not in person like cameras like even without I know a lot of like it's a lot of beauty gurus supposedly use like skin filters and stuff um, but even without that like cameras can often filter your skin um, just like the style of lens that you use could have an effect on how your skin appears on camera the lights that are happening sometimes I will watch my videos and I'm like why can't my skin look like that in real life because it doesn't no one's does so I do want to put that out there because that definitely has been like a sense of insecurity even for me. Um, you know, I definitely take a lot of pride in my skincare routine because I want, you know, really glowy skin and I want to try and prevent, you know, I, I tend to get cystic acne that's pretty painful and I also tend to have pretty dry skin that can be itchy and I want to prevent all of that and so that's why I invest in a skincare routine. I have friends though who literally just use Dove face wash on their face every day and have perfect skin and I don't understand it but here we are. For me, my skincare issues are that I have acne scarring that I want to try and get rid of or just fade over time. I tend to have a decent amount of redness. I do definitely get acne from time to time. Um, and then I also have a tendency to get cystic acne every once in a while if I'm not being vigilant. And then, like I said, I do tend to have dry, drier skin or dehydrated skin, I feel like is the better word for it because I definitely don't drink enough water. Uh, so I try and make up for that in my skincare routine. I'm also trying to drink more water, but 
alas. Anyway, starting off with cleansing, which is part of my base layer, um, I do a two-step cleanse, which is a type of cleansing that I believe got popular in Korea and then has sort of grown in popularity from there. Uh, so the two-step cleansing system basically starts you off with a cleansing oil that's really going to break down all of that makeup, any like waterproof mascara, uh, glue if you're like me and you like to wear rhinestones on your face sometimes. So I always use a cleansing oil at night and for me I'm really loving this one from iUnique. It's their Calendula Complete Cleansing Oil. I love this stuff because it's super simple. It's literally the ingredients list is just oils. Uh, I also like that it doesn't have olive oil in it. Not that there's anything I think particularly bad about olive oil. I just, for some reason, whenever I use cleansing oils with olive oil in it, it kind of just sticks to my face a little bit too much. So I really like this cleanser uh, because it does exactly what it's meant to do. It's pretty cheap and it hasn't caused any issues for me. So I love it. I use it a lot. Then for my cleanser, I use this one from Perito. It is their Defense Barrier pH Cleanser, uh, and it has a pH balance of 5.5. Something I really like about a lot of Korean skincare products is that they include the pH balance of a cleanser. I believe for cleansers, you want them to be somewhere in between a 5 and a 6 for the pH balance, or it might be a 5 and a 5.5, something like that. Um, and that's basically to just not overstrip your face and to leave your face in a state where it's um, balanced and good to go for applying the rest of your skincare. So yeah, I really like this stuff because it's super, again, super basic ingredients list. I like that it has Centella Asiatica extract in it because that's going to help calm the skin a bit, which is something I like to look for in uh, cleansers because you're kind of, you know, working the skin a decent amount, um, but it's not necessary because you are just going to rinse it off your face. But yeah, I like this stuff because it does exactly what, it ne what I need it to do. It cleanses my skin, gets off the last remaining bits of my oil cleanser, and it just does its job. So after those two products, your skin should be clean and you shouldn't need like I often see people like use something like a toner to get off the last bits of their makeup and you should not need that. Um, I will also say that if you are using a micellar water at any stage during this process you should rinse that off because even though it calls itself a water a micellar water still has like surfactants in it that you don't really want to leave on your skin overnight or long term. During the daytime however I don't use any cleanser I actually just rinse my face with water it was something that my dermatologist suggested I start doing when I mentioned that my skin felt a little dry. So that's just what I do in the morning. And then after that, both morning and night, I go in with a toner and I use this stuff. This is the uh, Allentoin Hypoallergenic Moisturizing Toner from Dermatory. And I really like this stuff because it's super gentle and moisturizing. It really does, I feel like, give me that first step of hydration into my skin. I actually like to layer this up. I usually, I pour it in my hands and then I apply it to my face like three times. Um, and I really like this stuff, again, because it's very, like actually like it really softens my skin I feel like and it also um, helps just calm my skin so I'm a big fan of this my friend Matthew actually introduced me to this one uh, when we were shopping one day and I'm a big fan of it I've used it this is now I think my second full bottle then after that I like to go in with a serum I have three different serums that I tend to rotate through depending on just how my skin is feeling and if it's daytime or nighttime you don't need three serums you just need honestly you don't need any serums you just need a basic skincare routine like I was saying earlier but if you want to add on some these are the ones that I like. Uh, during the daytime I go in with this Goodall uh, Green Tangerine Vita C Dark Spot Serum Plus. Vitamin C is great for fading if you have hyperpigmentation or acne scars so that's why I use it because I got some acne scars that I really want to try and fade uh, and so I've been really enjoying this one. I use this one during the daytime pretty much every day uh, and then I a couple of times a week. I use this B Plain BHA Peeling Ampoule L Exfoliating Oil Control. That's a long name, but basically this is an acid exfoliator. If you're not familiar with that, basically there are a few different types of acids that people use in order to exfoliate dead skin cells, uh, and depending on the type of uh, skin you have, that'll decide what type of acid you should use. I have 
oily skin that is somehow still flaky and dry, so, um, which is basically because my skin tends to be a little dehydrated. If you're interested in acids, I would definitely recommend doing your research, deciding which acid is the best type for you, um, and implementing it into your skincare very carefully. I have definitely been that person. Like when I first discovered acids, I went all in really fast and I definitely think I overused acids and it's so easy to do that because when you first start using them you you know you see immediate results and for me like I saw those amazing results and I was getting tons of compliments and so then I was like well then I'll start using it more and you know I got to basically using it almost daily or every other day or anytime my skin was sort of having a flare-up and what I noticed is and it didn't happen immediately like it took a while for me to notice this but after about you know a few months to a year I started noticing that my skin was you know kind of papery that it was really sensitized and irritated and it took a really long time of babying my skin to get it back to its like normal self you know I think about you know the ordinary or drunk elephant who have these really high percent acids that all these like really young people are using and I think sometimes overusing and yeah so I try to avoid falling into that anymore so I really only use an acid about two times a week max for me and you don't see those immediate overnight results however I feel like you see those long-term results which is what's more important for me I'll also say that if you are going to use an acid you should 100% use a sunscreen the next day because by using an acid you're basically making your set your skin much more sensitive to the sun uh, and so that's something to also keep in mind I mean you should be wearing sunscreen every day regardless but especially if you use acids you have to be wearing sunscreen and then the last serum that I really like to use is this one from IUN and it is their Black Snail Restore Serum. This stuff is just super, super moisturizing. It's great to put on before my actual moisturizer because I feel like, especially for me, if my skin is feeling a little bit drier, especially in like winter months, this stuff is really good at just bringing another layer of moisturization to my skin and making it very soft and glowy in the morning. This is definitely like the secret, I feel like, to dewy skin for me. Both of these serums I stick to at night. This one, because acids make your skin photo sensitive this one because it's a little bit heavy and so I don't usually like wearing it when I'm also going to be wearing makeup or anything so that's what I normally do also I will point out that there is a difference between hydration and moisturization if you don't know the difference I highly recommend googling it and learning a bit more about that I'll try and paste um, some ex explanations in the description box below I'll also have like my full routine written out in the description box below because I know that this is a lot in a video <laughs> and kind of lastly is my moisturizer and I'm using this one from make prem it's their safe me relief moisture cream it has only 12 ingredients and a pH balance of 5.5 I really like this moisturizer because it's very very simple it just does what it's supposed to do it just moisturizes my skin there's no sort of added ingredients to do anything else it's just there to make my skin feel soft and smooth so that when I wake up in the morning I feel happy and moisturized but yeah I use the same moisturizer both at night and during the day and I also use it around my eyes because I for the most part don't believe in eye cream I think most eye creams are basically just overpriced moisturizers so I just like to have one product that I use everywhere and I love this one for that because you know again like I said earlier it just does what it's supposed to do but also I like that it has a sort of rich texture at first like it is very richly moisturizing but when you start to actually you know apply it to the skin it melts down very quickly into a sort of gel watery formula so it doesn't feel too heavy which is a really hard balance I feel like to find in a moisturizer so I'm really loving this one and then actually lastly during the day I always 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 go in with a sunscreen sunscreen is so important for just the health of your skin and if you want to prevent wrinkles obviously skin cancer so I I'm very intense about always applying sunscreen and the one that I love is this one from Perito. It's their Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen. It is SPF 50 plus with a PA 
plus 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 plus. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I love this sunscreen because it is perfect for if you have sensitive skin. This has no essential oil, it has no fragrance, it is calming, it's not sticky, it doesn't leave a white cast, it has like a full UV shield, it's great. It is such a good sunscreen, like all around sunscreen. For me, I tend to always prefer um, Asian and European sunscreens because they are able to use more advanced technology with their sunscreen than in the U.S. If you don't know, the U.S. hasn't updated their sunscreen laws, I think, since like the 90s. So we're really far behind other nations in terms of sunscreen technology. Uh, so I just always tend to go with um, other countries' sunscreens because I just feel like they protect my skin better and they also just have a better texture. Uh, they're not as like thick and they don't leave a horrible white cast to my skin like U.S. sunscreens do. And yeah, this stuff is fantastic. I use it daily. Anytime I'm going to be near a window or outside, I have to put this stuff on. And the other thing that I really like about this one is that it is unscented and it is really good for sensitive skin. That's the thing that I really struggle with with sunscreen is I feel like they're all so heavily fragranced or they just like are filled with ingredients that are just very sensitizing for me. And this does not do that at all. It's so great. I love this stuff. Holy grail right here. Um, but yeah, that's it. That is my entire skincare routine. Those are my favorite skincare products that I've been using. If you guys have any questions about some of the things that I've mentioned, feel free to leave them down below. If you have any favorite skincare products, I'd also love to hear about them because I love learning about new skincare products. Um, but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. Thanks again to YesStyle for working with me on this video, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!